we're at my favourite permission tonight and uh, we're having a little look for um, some rodents rather than the foxes. We're normally, this is our fox permission and uh, this time we're going to be using the Rapid 7 in 2-2 and hope to be uh, knocking a little dent in the rat population, try and stop them uh, spreading anything like diseases we don't want them spreading and uh, pinching all the food from the chickens and the rest of the farm, uh, farm food. We're set up now, we're, um, we've zeroed at about 10 yards, so we know where the gun's going, we know where the 2-2 two -two slug's likely to land, we've got a good idea where the rats are going to be tonight, we've got a light on that's in the barn most of the time, so the rats are used to coming out in the evenings and in the night times with a light on, so with a bit of luck, we'll try and see them just with the ambient light. The position that we chose tonight to shoot from was uh, was chosen because the rifle we're using is a little bit too powerful really for these these kind of exploits, but it's what we had to use tonight. So the reason we chose where we chose is because we had a concrete block wall as a backstop for all our shots, as opposed to an asbestos roof, which perhaps wouldn't have been the finest part to shoot at. They stay still for one second if you're very lucky. As opposed to a rabbit with its head down in the grass, you can give it a quick squeak or a click and its head pops up and it's time to say goodnight. With a rat, they're just in and gone. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, managed to account for all the rats on the farm today. I don't think we've accounted for all the rats in this one barn today. I'm sitting in a barn on a bucket, looking for a rat. Perhaps isn't first choice, but definitely needs doing. And still, still quietly happy once you've done it and it's been successful.